Oh, such a glorious event. The MMS 523 Iron Man 2 Neon Tech 2.0. This is going to be special. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. Look, I had this since Comic-Con. This was a Comic-Con exclusive. I did not want to open it until I had my uh, special blacklight box display set up. You can see it right there. So now that it's uh, fully operational, I definitely want to enjoy my Neon Tech 2.0. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It's, I, I believe it sold out the same day it was posted on Sideshow. The catch was is that you had to be present to go pick it up. Um, this was one of the uh, first things I did uh, Thursday when I was there. So it's always fun. It's always fun picking up uh, convention exclusives. Always get a kick out of that. Let's get this bad boy ready. Popped up. So far so good. Got the sideshow symbol on top. Special package in. Let's get this cut open here. Awesome box. Very reminiscent of the first Neon Tech 1.0 which was the Mark IV in neon style. I love it. I love the look of this box. I love it. And what do we have here? Uh, features luminous, luminous reflective on the box and figure. Ooh, on the box and figure. That's right, on the box and figure. Let's test out the box. Let's see uh, what type of uh, cool effects this box is uh, packed with. Got it all set up. And uh, like I mentioned in two videos ago, I do have a remote control to the black light. And, and uh, you can see there's, a, oh, look at that. There's a hidden pattern into the box, which is revealed with the black light. That's cool. It's neat, right? I like it. I like it so far. Kidding. Who am I kidding? Come on now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be uh, uh, objective here. You guys know I love, I love me my Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like, well, specifically the die-cast Iron Man from Hot Toys. I never worry about Hot Toys. They always do the right thing. All right, I'm not going to get emotional about this. I'm just going to treat this like any other review. Let's get this open. My God. It's full of stars. Hey, look, all right, I'm not going to lie to you. I always feel like John Hammond here uh, delivering the little baby raptors, all right? Every time in a die every time a die cast Iron Man figure comes home to my collection, an angel gets his wings, all right? I love this stuff. I can uh, I can eat this stuff all day. Look at that. <laughs> it's like delivering a little baby. <laughs> uh, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, articulation is there. Metal. It's essentially a repaint of the Diecast Mark VI. I know that going into that, but it's so pretty. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. It's like uh, I'm packing a, a toy on Christmas morning. As always, got to go through the, uh, the, the tests and procedures, making sure everything is up to par. Uh, because I only have, a, what, 30 days if anything is effective on this bad boy. I, I you know, have to... Uh, Proved to sideshow that it's effective and broken, and I can get a replacement. But so far, so good. You know, when it comes to the uh, to the iron suits, for most for for most uh, of the time, Hot Toys uh, their QC is pretty on par. Just checking everything out. Everything looks pretty. Taking a little uh, foam protective pattern on there. Inspecting the paint apps too. The uh, reflective yellow. Uh, paint strips on there, making sure it's all looks good. Everything is, uh, everything is checking out pretty well on this bad boy here. Get the little plastic strip on there, and looking at the legs, making sure. I love the piano black. I really do. I really do. And uh, if you guys aren't aware, we are going to get a war machine in the Neon Tech. This right here caught me off guard. I was a little bit disappointed here that. Uh, it wasn't uh, uh, highlighted with, uh, with with tech paint, sort of like the silver, you know, it, it seems very, uh, very bland. I don't understand why they did that part with the whole chest not being painted like that underneath the uh, the plate. Otherwise, everything else seems to be on par with the, with the Neon series. Just removing this little protective strip. And one quick final pose before we continue. 
looks awesome. It really does. I, I love it. I Again, if, if you're coming here for an uh, objective, <laughs> I always stand behind the die-cast Iron Man <laughs> figures. Die-cast, anyway. I don't think I've ever had an issue with, a, with an Iron Man figure. I've, I've hated Oh, I do want to check the weight on this because I... From what I understand, there are people out there, are collectors, that they feel that they've skimped out on the die cast. So this is the Mark VI, 1.9, close to 2 pounds. And this is the Neon Tech. It sh comes in right about this. I mean, it's just the leg is leaning over. 1.88, and then when I blow on it, <laughs> 1.9. So it's almost the same. It should be a little bit less because the batteries aren't installed. But for the most part, it's the exact same die-cast material. A lot of folks out there feel that uh, because it's neon tech, uh, they're they're cutting corners. But no, it's the exact same amount of die-cast material that they used in the Mark VI in, uh, in this guy here, too. All right. I, I, I don't want to beat around the bush. I want to see how this thing glows underneath the, uh, the black light. So let's move... Uh, do a little quick cut here and that is a flight stand there just in the uh, the black line it's the camera doesn't do justice this thing looks gorgeous in person it really does it's really hard I even uh, adjusted the aperture to the camera to try to capture as much light as possible and it's just one of those things that you simply can only enjoy in person but I'm doing the best I, I love sharing this experience uh, with you folks out there all right, let's get back to the unboxing here. What do we got here? Uh, accessories. Accessories. We got three pairs of hands. Let's get this here. I will be use. We'll be swapping out the hands. I. I like this. The laser beam hand. There you go. Yeah, because I figure that'll be. That'll look kind of cool having the laser beams shooting out under black light. It'd be kind of fun to play with. I typically only use the articulated fingers because for me it, it feels more robotic more uh more realistic my point of view flight hands some of my iron suits do have the flight hands but for this one it's going to have the laser beam hands <laughs> so i can uh so i can attach the little laser beams underneath hidden compartment with the die cast series instructions i don't need instructions i'm a pro yikes uh little accessory tchotchkes up here I will be installing all this fun stuff because my neon tech 2.0 is going into it's going into a battle base is cool very nice nothing fancy about it I won't be using it not because I I, I like it it's, it's it's a cute little base but uh, for this particular situation I'm gonna be using my flight stand that I picked up on Amazon right there it's all black no there's nothing frill about it, but it's just good sturdy old flight stand because I want my Neon Tech to fly. Batteries, I'm gonna need my batteries, put those to the side. Let's look at these little uh, accessories, these little missile ports. These are great, yeah. That should look really cool underneath the black light. Kind of inspect it. And again, I'm just inspecting it because I want to make sure everything is up to par. This is just not a cheap figure. For what 380, I believe is what the retail was in Sideshow. Sold out pretty fast. For all the for all the uh, uh, collectors out there who claim that there's Iron Man fatigue, this particular guy did sell out pretty fast. The laser beam hands, not hands, the the, the laser beam effects. He's silly. All right, let's get this uh, battery port open. Very similar. I do remember the batteries from uh, where they were located on the die cast Iron Man 6 and I will be installing the batteries all right here's the thing with the batteries right I want to play with this I want to pose it I want to take some really cool photos with it I want my Iron Man figure with the batteries I know there's collectors out there who are kind of hoity-toity it's like I don't do batteries because it's gonna leak and and it's just gonna corrode you know what I have to test these uh, these connectors out anyway because if any of these lights do not turn on, I have to prove to Sideshow that the uh, that the light that, that the light effects do not work, and they will gladly replace it. Because Sideshow is really good about replacing. So I have to test this out. So why am I going to go through all the work on testing out all these battery ports and just to keep the batteries out? No, I want to I want to enjoy the look. I want to enjoy the uh, the feel the 
the light effect, all that good fun jazz. Using my Miracle Worker electric mini screwdriver. Hey, if you guys want your own little screwdriver, click on the Amazon link below in this video. Use my link and you'll uh, be able to pick your, your very own. Tell you what, this thing saved my life installing those Madu cases. I shit you not. <laughs> Get this on, make sure it works. Beautiful, beautiful, look at that. We bring good things to life here, I tell you, on this channel, we really, really do. Look at that, look at that, look how badass that looks. It's ready to kick some butt, love it. All right, and uh, the light effect on the bicep, there it is, right there. And you can get it ready. Do a little bit of a quick edit here. I want to look at that, making sure it all works. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. Love that LED effect. It's awesome. It's cool. Man, oh man. I really wish uh, that one company would still make those uh, those connectors. Uh, I can't think of the company that where you, where you don't have to install batteries and little micro little wires go in and out. Uh, I forgot. Was it called Ice? reactor or soap reactor there you go soap reactor yeah they don't make those anymore it's a shame people complain about the wires all over the place anyway let me get back to this neon tech 2.0 let's get it look at that oh ready to take on the mandarin that's cool i gotta tell you something i i love it i'm gonna eat this this whole neon tech series yes hot toys they're milking it yes it's oh it's another reason Look, their business, all I can say with this current series is uh, shut up and take my money, Hot Toys. I love it. I eat this up. Plus, I love the hunt. I love chasing these exclusives. I'm not, I'm, I'm not kidding. I really do. <laughs> I really, really do. I love, you know, trying to get my hands on, on this stuff. And it's it's rare. It's, it's reminiscent of the hunt. All right, let's get into the black case here. Let's see the black case. The black light display. Here you go. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that looks. <sighs> That's just cool. That's just stinking cool. Wow. There you go. There's his brother, the Mark IV. And I, I took the camera off the, uh, the tripod here. I'm doing a little bit of guerrilla style filming here so I can try to get as much of the angles as possible because it just looks badass. Again, the camera is doing its best. I'm doing the best here, but in person, this thing is just cool. That's my, uh, you can see all the other uh, <laughs> black light. <laughs> Doctor Strange there. Doctor Strange is cool too under black light. His little magic effects look really, really cool. This is it. I hope you guys had fun uh, drooling with me on this Iron Man 2 review. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and as always, uh, thanks for watching. Hehehe. <laughs>